Good day, girls. Welcome to your writing session. Please prepare with you again your book, your pen, and your notebook. Today, we are to write an argument. You can open your LC on pages 218 and 219. At the end of this writing session, you are expected to define an argument, write an argument, and use evidence to support arguments. Need to defend your opinion on an issue? Your argumentative essay could be of big help to that. What is an argumentative essay? It is an essay that uses evidence and facts to support the claim it's making, and its purpose is to persuade the reader to agree with the argument being made. And remember these girls, that a good argumentative essay will use facts, okay, or pieces of evidence to support the argument rather than just the author's thoughts and opinions. See, for example, you wanted to write an argumentative essay stating that London is a great destination for families. Now, you couldn't just say that it's a great place because you took your family there and enjoyed it. For it to be an argumentative essay, you need to have facts and data to support your argument, such as the number of child-friendly attractions in London, special deals you can get with kids, and surveys of people who visited London as a family and enjoyed it. So the first argument is based entirely on feelings, whereas the second is based on evidence or pieces of evidence that can be proven. So I have here an example of an argumentative essay. Please have time to read entirely the essay. Okay, if you think that the video is too fast, you can pause the video and you can read it. So here, this essay includes numerous facts and cites studies to support its case. By having specific data to rely on, the author's argument is stronger and readers will be more inclined to agree with it. Now, it's your time to do your argumentative essay. Now, think of your own topic to discuss in your argumentative essay. Be sure to include facts or pieces of evidence in your work. Please do it on your notebook. All right, that's it for this week. Thank you for listening. This is Teacher Felicia speaking.